We're back again. Woo! And it's movie time. Woo! I'm looking forward to this. Time to go to the movies because uh, it's everybody's favorite brother of Frieza. And uh, only brother? Yeah, only brother of Frieza. Yeah. Yeah, he has a son, actually, Kuriza, in, uh... That's, uh, like, is it a gag character? It's a gag character, yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah, for the longest time, Cooler was actually, like, one of, like, the coolest, not no pun intended, character... Like, he, he, he was one of the cooler movie villains. God damn it! How do you do that? He is one of my favorite movie villains, I guess that's better? Honestly, I've never been a cooler guy. Largely just because it's like, you're gonna introduce the brother of one of the best villains you've ever had, but you're not gonna do almost anything to really differentiate his, him in a meaningful manner. His fifth form does a lot of the heavy lifting. Yeah, that fifth form is sick. Like, mm -hmm. it, like that's true. That is a sick form. Yeah. But for me, I've always kind of been a, not been a huge fan of introducing a non-canon sibling to a villain, especially Frieza, like your biggest villain, and you gave him a non-canon brother just to, like. Uh. But it, but it gave us another avenue to write for the character, which you can't argue. Like you, you can't argue that that wasn't a benefit, especially when we finally got around to plan to eradicate Christmas, and they were actually on screen at the same time for the first time ever. Oh, oh my God! I wonder if that will ever happen again. Who knows? Yeah. But actually, no, the reason I am happy that we did the Cooler movie is specifically so we could get in the voice of Cooler. Because I won't lie mm. to you, I am I I love the voice of Cooler in this movie. Uh, he is exceptionally Chris, good. Chris Guerrero, how we knew him back then as General Ivan. Uh, a name he has forgotten. A name he has time has for, a name he has <laughs> forsaken. But he used to do these like amazing little parodies. His his Maduka Maguka dubs. Uh, Maduka Maguka. Okay, yeah. Like I think if he had to be recognized for any of his old shit post stuff, I think he would much prefer that over a lot of the other things that he did. There's but, a, yeah. there's a, there's a lot of shit posty things in the past, but. But I, those were hysterical back in the day. Yeah, but no, uh, Guerrero is spectacular. Amazingly talented. Uh, you'll you'll find him as like Eins Ul Gon now oh, yeah. in the official dub of Overlord. Gecko Moria in One Piece. He, he's like, he's got one of those voices that's just mwah, and he works it like a master. Like he is an amazingly talented individual. And he'll be back later on in season three as Jero. Yeah, I remember there was a little bit of uh, back and forth on whether or not I was gonna continue to play cooler. The problem was like, I was okay, but it was obvious like I wasn't reaching the depths and the like the edge factor that we needed for, for the character we'd written for cooler. So when I knew that I could get uh, Guerrero, I was like, yes, it has to be him. Mm -hmm. Honestly, he's my favorite voice I've ever heard for Cooler. I'm like, it's, it's just pretty, flat it's out. pretty spectacular, and it was such an honor just being able to work with him on these things. Um, and if there's one other thing I wanted to bring up before we jump in, it's a lot of people have been commenting asking if we're going to uh, comment on the Canadian English subtitles oh, for the yeah, YouTube version you know? or if we'd put them on, but we're watching these dead ass off a hard drive, so we're not even using YouTube, so we don't have access to those, but those uh, Canadian subtitles, the Canadian English subtitles, are all a parody subtitle generated by our community, which, like, which they've back done in some the day, you could, stuff. Back in the day, you could do that. They yeah. actually removed the ability to make community... So provide. sad. I don't understand why. I'm actually genuinely frustrated about that. So, that maybe it's that. so people couldn't, like, you know, harass people vis-a-vis -vis that. Well, yeah, but you could, you could set people who could do it. You could, like, moderate those subtitles. So honestly, I'm genuinely frustrated that that got YouTube removed. got rid of that ability. Yeah, I, I thought it was great back in the day. Yeah, big shout out to everybody who has contributed to that. Unfortunately, we aren't able to actually watch them here, but uh, for those that didn't know they exist, uh, if you wanna go back oh. through the old playlist and switch on Canadian subtitles, uh, so, so, some of the some of the jokes they make for me personally are hit or miss, but a lot of them are pretty like spot on. They are right? they are machine gun. They're they're like some some hit the target, some don't. I'll, I'll I'll say for certain, I don't think it's the first way you should experience the show because there there are some people out there that go to like internet reactor people and like you should turn on. You're the, talking about uh, I should know, be right. Not, not not even him specifically, but there are people out there who's like you should turn on the Canadian subtitles, and it's like. 
yeah, but then like while you're reading down there, you might be missing some visual jokes and they will sometimes spoil a joke that's upcoming and it's... Yeah. Eh. No, no, it is, it is just like... It's supplementary. You, just like how you shouldn't watch DBZA before you watch actual Dragon Ball. Exactly. Don't... Just like you shouldn't watch the commentary track before you watch the real movie. Yeah, don't watch DBZA for the first time with the Canadian subtitles on. Turn on the U U regular US subtitles. They are not jokes. But anyway, <laughs> we don't make jokes here. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Zero jokes. <laughs> All right, let's 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 get to Cooler. The following is a non-profit fan-based parody. Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, and Dragon Ball GT are all owned by Funimation, Toy Animation, Fuji TV, and Akira Toriyama. Please support the official release. Me doing my deep voice. Yep. Your push the cart and TF2 Peter, voice. It seems that your brother freezes, destroying the Did you have Ant re record that? Very impressive. No. Killing off a bunch just just of oh, use the same you know, I might have, now that, that you mentioned it. Shotgun could have done that at the zoo. Hold on, hold on, I'll go back. Sorry. It seems he has missed one sh sure. Sorry, it's just one of my favorite lines. Killing off a bunch of monkeys. Any liquored up hillbilly with a shotgun could have done that at the zoo. Wait, sir. It seems he has missed one ship. We are within range to intercept. No. Huh? By the way, so one of the reasons that uh, Ant ended up playing Salsa... Uh, he was the only person we know that could do a con like an actual French accent? Well, <laughs> actual French. Well, a convincing enough... A very funny French accent. A, a, a convincing enough funny French accent? Yeah. Um, and that was actually uh, from his JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, where he had done Paul And uh, his French accent for that was always really, really funny. So when it came to Salsa, we were like, well... Yeah, obviously. In fact, it's funny. In Helsing Ultimate Abridged, if he hadn't have ended up playing the Dandy Man, he probably would have ended up being uh, the uh, other Pip. Yeah, Pip Bernadotte instead of me. <laughs> so, uh, but yeah, it's uh, that's why he. Uh, and uh, and uh, honestly, it's just a joke about the fact that uh, did he have? I'm sorry, did he have the French accent? In I the, can't fucking remember. I I feel like he did. I don't know if we'd make the joke if he didn't. Yeah, but he, maybe we did I anyway. Mean, he is absolutely from Space France. He is from Space France. Space France. Unlike his cousin Space Jace. Let it go. But why? Because if he's going to whine to our father for control over the entire system like a spoiled little brat, then he's going to accept the responsibility. If this comes back to bite him, that's his fault. Upcoming is one of my favorite lines that I've written. The phone line. Yeah, some people were wondering like why we changed the line from the original because I'm a prick. It worked well enough it, as it, a. It worked as a one shot for Bardock, but yeah, it, it was it was a nice little button there. But we're we want we wanted to actually make this a real script, also a setup for this. Yeah. Oh my God, 27 years. Yeah, Goku's 27 now. Mazel tov. He aged really well. Mr. Julia. Mm hmm. Your brother. What's your he freezer. doing, by the way? He has been killed. Oh, is that right? And who's like, was for real? What is he doing on that planet? He just has a throne in the middle of a desolate world. So what I'm assuming happened was they went to a planet, fucking just wiped out the species. <laughs> Build me a chair. Oh no, I think that was the chair of the prior king, and he's just kind of sitting on it, like, hey, you know, before we leave. I'm just gonna sit on this dude's throne. I want to believe that he just had like no ability to build a clubhouse, but he wanted a clubhouse, so he just put a chair on a broken world. Hell yeah! Killed him. It was a Saiyan. Well, I sure hope somebody picks Pick up, up that, that phone. phone. Do what? Because, because I, I fucking called it. That has become a very commonly quoted line from us, and I'm happy with that. I love that line. I can't Forgot. believe your mom's letting you go camping with us after that whole Namek thing. Well, I have to make the excuse that I'm studying fauna. So many of these I early movies begin with them camping. Of burn. Or at least two of them did. Okay, so there's an error in this line, by the way. Yep. Yeah, he, yeah. Uh, he uh, says uh, fauna, and then he mentions flora. Yeah, he's like, I, I, ex yeah, I, I'm, I'm studying fauna. I need to s discover types of fern. It's like, yeah. ah. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to go with that was intentional. Uh, I'm just going to go with you're mishearing it. I'm going to gaslight you and say he's actually saying bird. I have to make the excuse that I'm studying fauna. I have to chart down 12 different species of birds. Cool. Also, Gohan has his tail back for this. For, oh, for yeah. Absolutely no reason. Oh, yeah. All these movies are like, okay. How can we set up the characters to make the least amount of sense with the with where this is supposed to like take he's, place in the he's timeline? Got, he's got his Namek haircut, but he's got his tail. 
Uh, like this, this is how you know the movies exist in a parallel universe. Yeah, and then there's Hiya Dragon. Hi, Hiya Dragon. How are you doing, buddy? How are you doing, friend? Icarus is doing fine. And, <laughs> and whenever Oolong shows up, it's a movie thing. Whenever yeah. he's not at Kame House, it's a movie. Actually, I think this is the first time we actually. Yeah. No. 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 He was in uh, Slug. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. I, I'm sorry. I loved playing Icarus. Just the little dumb noises. <laughs> Wow, that smells fantastic. What's in there? Oh, you know, just some essentials, carrots, potatoes, or... Piss. <laughs> oh, this bit. Hold, stalwart stranger. Hi, me. Let me go, I shall grant you one wish. I wish for you to be my dinner. <laughs> just beating the fish. Just imagine oh, him smacking no, it against no, a rock no, until it dies. Yes, Actually, absolutely. Something feels off. Hey, look what I got right here. Cute yes. little thing, isn't it? As a spes Frenchman, I must say, I find this food completely detestable. The pork is completely overcooked. Run, help, Grillin, I almost ate that. <laughs> <laughs> Go watch it. Ah! Oh, great, great pause right there. Um, yeah, I uh, I do love the many uh, the many jokes that we make about Oolong. people almost feeding oolong pork, <laughs> which comes to a head in season three. Yep. Hey, you get away from my food, my, my friend, friends, my two, my two emergency, emergency foods, foods, and my son. In, in that order. order. <gasps> two emergency <laughs> foods, by the way. Icarus. And Oolong. <laughs> well, I believe that is the monkey we are looking for. Wait, what did he just say? Oi, he said you're a monkey we're looking for. I, I don't... By the way, that's X the Dark One doing an absolutely, like, flawless... Uh, Cockney. Cockney. I love his performance as uh, Dore. And for uh, Nays back there, the... <laughs> We actually originally had a different bit for him. Yeah, and uh, I, 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 I genuinely I, said it didn't work. I tried so hard. Like, I I, I could make some of it work, but it, we, we had too many lines for him. Originally, the gimmick for him was, uh, we were, like, we wrote out his lines, and I was going to try to phonetically sound them out backwards so that if you played them in reverse, it would sound normal. Like, instead of saying go, I would say what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But unfortunately... It just did not work. It didn't. Like, you could almost kind of make it out, like, when we tried it, but it was just like, look, we have a lot of lines to get through for him, even though he only has, like, five or six. But, it, like, the entire idea was I was also going to try to intonate it, and it it was a failed experiment. One that I would gladly go back to someday when I'm better trained, but it just did not work out for this one, so we just decided to switch it to a... <laughs> and honestly, I still think that's funny. Um, one of the things I, uh, that we did try to do is that we always tried to give one of the, like, characters, especially in movie seven when we get to that, mm. we wanted these side characters to kind of have, like, a weird thing about them. Seven is one of my favorites just because of how deep Android it goes. Android 13. Yeah, yeah, uh, Android 13. So. All right, just tell me who you are. I am having the worst case of deja mustard right now. Which is his way of saying deja vu. Let's suck it, bitch! Let's suck it. Monsieur Kuller, we have this under control. It took us three months to get here. I am not staying in the ship. I love this shot. Mm. Freezer! Ha! You think this is Freezer? No, he is cooler. So, fun thing about Cooler's name, by the way, mm? it should be Kula. Kula. Yeah, it should Kula. be with the way that they. Because here's the thing, if they'd called him Freezer in the dub, that would have actually been accurate. Frieza, also accurate, because all, like with the way the Japanese works, Frieza, it could have just been Freezer. But in Japanese, did they not pronounce it Kula? Which also could be cooler. Mm -hmm. um, it could have been cooler, or it could have been Kula. Since they went with Frieza, it should have been Kula. But they would go with Cooler. Which, okay, yeah. I guess you could do that, but why? 
I mean, it's kind of like in uh, One Piece, the two English dubs that we got, one was Funimation, the other one was Four Kids, Zoro and Is Zolo. <laughs> So, yeah, but do you know why they went with Zolo? No. They were worried about copyright, oh, copyright with Zorro. Disney? Gotcha. Yeah. Which, ultimately, the version that's on the DVDs and Blu-rays is Zorro, so it didn't really matter. Well, but in the Viz manga, it's Zolo. Huh. Yeah. It's still Zolo to this day. Fascinating. And I hate it. I wonder if it has something to do with, like, print, like a trademark in print media versus, I don't know. Maybe. Cooler than Freezer? You must be ice cold. No, no that, that would be, be my father. father. Oh, is that your son? Yeah. I'm gonna kill it. Don't, Don't you do it. I'm gonna do it. Don't you do it. Needed some way to get Goku out of commission. Exactly. I just... There well, is the, fact, a, the fact that that does it is kind of weird. It is a little weird. I don't know why I-beams did that much damage to Goku, but whatever. I do love the look on his face, though. It is very much a... Hmm. <laughs> okay. Whatever, boom. Like, the look on his face when he tries to kill Gohan is so mundane. So, I'm gonna kill that thing. So, who thinks he's dead? Dead. Ah, that boy's dead as mud. Well, too bad. Dead I as mud. Paychecks. Search the forest. Keska f Cooler actually pays his guys. I love the oh. way we rewrote Cooler. Yeah. He's just so non- uh, uh, no nonsense. Lower. Lower. Oolong's really I into watching this. I didn't say stop. <laughs> <laughs> Krillin, please. Dad, Krillin, no. Wake up, please. Oh, hey, Gohan. Do you have Icarus? Cause I'm starving. starving. Uh, where are we anyway? We're hidden in a cave. No one can find us, so we should be safe. <laughs> what? 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 And now, the perfect place for a shopping mall. It will have a cigarette shop, a bag at restaurants, the Napoleon Museum, and a movie theater only showing films starring Jean Reno. Ho -ho! I'm French. Ah, I see a bunch of idle hands just standing around. Time to so, lean, time to clean, boys. Where's the body? Well, Monsieur Cooler, he is most likely been vaporized. Much like a good portion of the forest. Really? Because until I see a body, I believe my brother did a better job at killing him than you. By the end of this, I'll have someone's corpse tied to the bumper of my ship. He's got some long ass ears. I, I, again, I just love his attitude. It, it really does come down to Carrero's delivery. Absolutely. I swear to God, I'm gonna kill you. He's saying they're trapped under the rock. He wants to eat dead Goku, bunnies. Goku, are you in there? Krillin, we're trapped under the rocks. We're running out of air. Help us. Wait, why do you need my help? Can't Goku bench press a planet? Krillin, live with damn rock. A very good question. All right, yeah. Come on, here's the plan. Take Icarus to Korin's tower so you don't alert their scouters. Pick up some sensor beans for Goku and hurry back. Wait, why am I going? Because last time I hung out with him, I totally forgot what his name was and just kept calling him Whiskers the Wonder Cat the whole time. It was really awkward. Explain! Okay, so, I love this joke. Yes, um, you do. Uh, yeah, so back in the day, and not a lot of people know about this, and you can actually find a video that I did very specifically about this dub on this channel uh, under Saturday Morning Sushi, where I talked about an old dub of Dragon Ball that happened before Funimation ever got their hands on it Harmony by Gold, Harmony right? Gold, um, the same people who were responsible for Robotech. Um, and they changed a bunch of the names. Uh, Goku became Zero, Krillin became Bongo, uh, Bulma became... <laughs> oh, man, I... I kind of like that. I know, I know. Boba became Lita. Uh, Yamcha, I can't remember. Fucking Oolong was Mao because he kind of had a Mao Zedong outfit on. Yeah. But the one that stuck out to everyone the most was Corin, or Kodin in the Japanese version, became Whiskers the Wonder Cat. Hey, are you some kind of famous wise man or something? What's your name anyway? I've been told many things. My favorite is Whiskers the Wonder Cat. That is the deepest of pulls. Yes. Right there. Also, uh, if, if they had stacked with Lita, Lita for uh, Bulma, uh, that would have made her last name in Dragon Ball Evolution actually like kind of work out. It would have been Lita Enchanto. Lita Enchanto. Oh my god. 
I'm gonna make that a character in something Lita I write one of the days. Enchanto. Lita Enchanto is gonna be a character I make for something, and it's gonna be the deepest cut that no one's ever going to get unless they're the worst Dragon Ball fan. And by worst, I mean best. I, fu I, I still can't get over the fact that her last name in Evolution, according to the Evolution video game, is Enchanto. Well, Chi Chi's last name is Roberts. Chi Chi Roberts. Chi Chi Roberts. Rillen, Gotta love playing. It smells like dragon's breath. Shame, Goku. Goku! Lots and lots of shame. Come on, Icarus. Not much longer. Ah, the tower. I wonder how Yajirobe and Korin are doing. I told you to, get to see the them. brush before you got in the shower. Oh, this Your is... Your hair clogs up the drain. This is actually kind of the start of uh, their... Uh, premarital, like, this is their subplot throughout the movies that we yes. started here. I am so glad that they featured enough in the movies for us to do this shit. Yeah, because it starts here where they're just, like, bickering like an old, like an old couple. Yep. And uh, in, the next, in the next movie, they're having some time apart. And in the movie after that, they're, like, everybody's shopping for their wedding registry. And in the movie after that, they're married! Yep. Um, it, it was sort of funny when we came up with, like, so we've made a lot of gay jokes in this show. And they're also, like, we do try to make them in good spirit yeah, for course. the most part. But when it came to, like, Korn and Yajirobe, we actually just leaned into just it. Just let We're them like, be a couple. Yeah, you know they... what? Fuck it. The, it is not a joke that, haha, they're gay. No, they're gay. They're 100%. And that's just it. No, not really a joke. It's just they're a couple. That's yeah. it. And... It was a lot of fun to write for them. And I won't lie, it was even more fun to play them both. Um, even though their voices are s too more similar than I'd prefer. They're getting... different enough that when they're talking, you can tell the difference. Yeah, and it's so much fun just to play two people who are a little bit antagonistic with each other, but obviously in a relationship. In fact, I, I probably mentioned this on here before on our SoundCloud. There is, a, like when gay marriage became legal, I did a whole video where Corin accidentally, like, uh, basically proposes to Yajirobe, and it's really cute. I mean, I'm already moved in, like I said, and basically everyone already knows. But it's symbolic! Like that time you went to that steakhouse and demolished their five-pound Calpocalypse Angus cheeseburger. You knew you could do it. I knew you could do it. But you still got that award sitting in a den, proudly displayed for all to see. Did you just compare our relationship to a greasy, oversized cheeseburger? Well, well sweetheart, I didn't mean Shh, that. I do. I'll start making plans. I, I just love playing them because they're a lot of fun. The entire bit with the phone call, and I think it was like episode 41 Maybe. or 40, one of those. Uh, that entire bit was just you improv. We didn't actually have an eye catch for that episode. And I'm yeah. sure we'll bring that up later. It's just like, you just did that impromptu. Yes. What happened to your cell phone? It was blown up with a car. What happened to the pussy wagon? It was blown up. By who? By Dr. Giroux. Who the hell is Dr. Giroux? I don't know, some scientist. That's just so much fun though. Somebody asked me, by the way, is Cora Jewish? And like, no, I think he's just supposed to have like this kind of vague he's... northeastern accent. I'm... And someone said, oh, so he's just basically. There's, there's, there's a very particular, uh, Valanche. Yeah, I think. Uh, someone has said, oh, so he's from Long Island. No, Long Cat Island. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And I told you to stay out of my kitty treats. Seriously, they're for cats. Why do you eat them? I swear, you <laughs> that or the beans. I know, right? Because it's rent free. The only reason I let you live here is because you give the best <laughs> Bell for, for a thousand miles. miles. Um, don't, don't say that in front of the kid. <laughs> what? You should be proud. You know how to rub this pussy real good. Ah, so crude. I have my sensor yeah. beans. Sure, fine here. Hey, those are my sensu beans. You can't just. Hey, here's another one. You prick. That's such That's a great way to make this scene work, to too. Get off my tower. Just keep moving, <laughs> Gohan. Yeah. Ah, you scared him off. You were the one screaming your head off. <laughs> it's so realistic, too. I want one. I told you, I'm not ready for kids. Well, when will you be ready? I don't know, okay? I've, I, I've been a part of arguments that ended like that. <laughs> oh, I love, I honestly, again, I just love the domestic, the, the domesticity of those two. Um, I, I've even had people like, wait, what did he mean by when he said I want one? It was like, a kid, he wants, he wants a, a kid. kid. Also, here's a joke coming up that Upon reflection, I wish we'd wrote differently. I know you disagree, but I probably will. Uh, huh? It's morning! Goku, are you? Ah, oh, yeah. That's right, Chi-Chi. Pour, Pour that, that maple, maple syrup. syrup. 
all, all over, over my breakfast. breakfast. <laughs> Look how beautiful, beautiful lady who lives, lives in my house. house. <laughs> I love that. You know what, Chris? I know you like flying fast, but maybe we should be more careful now just to... Well, hello, Diddy. Where's Donkey? So, I don't mind that line. I think it is funny. I, I, I do. But there's a part of me that realized, oh my god, we literally had a character Icarus flying. And there's a part of me that wishes the line had been, Hello, Icarus. Flying a little too close to the sun, are we? Yeah, but he would not have known the dragon's name. Who cares? I, 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 I care, and I think Diddy and Donkey is funnier to me. I, I, it's, it, it is funny. I do think it's funny. I just think Icarus flying too close to the sun works specifically for this I, scene. I, I understand the poeticism of it, and we can make that joke here and now, but I don't think it would have worked as well in the script. What do you guys First. think? Leave your comments down below. I'd actually like to know which one you'd have preferred. Do, si do you like the original? Whose side are you on? Do you, the do right you, side or Kaiser's do, side? Do you, do you like old and busted or fresh and new? Do you like Donkey Kong? You like Donkey Kong. I'm, Nobody I, played Kid Icarus. <laughs> The animation on this scene is like good. It is. Hey boys, like, this is a, this is massively better than the next movie. Piccolo getting to be a badass in the movies. I always love that. Yeah, he he always gets to be so cool in the movies. Okay, I think I got this one. Pretty one. And Vegeta never steals one. his shine either. Powers. Like you oh, thought you'd think Vegeta would I eventually take up this that. role, but no. But I say I'm more handsome than pretty. And my powers are not that real. Also, I want to go back because I, I I I talked over that and we're subverting the joke we made in in Slug. Yeah. Go with me, oh, that's, oh, that looks so painful. Bloody hell! Best stepdad. I go with Uncle. Unky Piccolo, but... Okay, I think I got this one. Pretty one, stupid one, one with weird powers. Oi! I appreciate that, but I say I'm more handsome than pretty. And my powers are not that weird. How fucking dare you! I love the stupid okay, voices Okay, I him. take it back. You're all stupid. Someone check the clock, because I believe, believe it's go time! time. Yeah. Olay. Olay. <laughs> I meant back me up! You babbling fool! He was aiming for Dory! <laughs> Fuck! Oh no! No, 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 no! No, no, no! No, 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 no! No, 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 that's a fuck Piccolo strong. Yeah, that was one blast and he just murked that dude. And these guys like are arguably on the same keel as the Ginyu Force. Yeah. Which I guess he would because he's... That is right. I forgot you can do that. Rebian, I'm going to go oh. get that child. You finish him up and bring the body back to Pulia. You know how he likes that? Gotcha, bitch. Gotcha, bitch. All right, now the re thing I wanted to point out. You know that scream there? Yeah, I heard it have to get looped. It's Vegeta's scream. Is it? You never did a scream for Piccolo there, and I was thinking to myself, does he have any screams as Piccolo? I looked through the files, and I didn't. But what I did have was your big scream as Vegeta in episode, I think, 16? What, like my my fa? Yeah, your huh? No, the long one, the long one, um, the the scream um, that echoes throughout time. Okay, yeah, yeah, the the yeah. fa. Yeah. So I took that one, pitched it down a little bit, put it through a filter. You can't tell. I I certainly couldn't. I, for all this time, I thought that I had actually done a scream for that. I'm like, huh, that sounds weirdly looped there for some. Uh, whatever. It's it's fine. It's fine. But what I was gonna point out is Piccolo would be able to just hand these guys their ass because he. Is as str like he's got nail in him at this point. Oh, so. yeah, 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 yeah. At this point, he's he's kicked the crap out of Frieza form to Piccolo. Yeah. So yeah, no, this guy's never stood a fucking chance. Which is why, like, I love that Piccolo is almost always the strongest member in some of these movies. Honestly, by the way, I kind of wish like nowadays I probably could have made him literally fall to dust, and mm. I'm sad I didn't do that. But like, that that frame is actually really like the art in this movie. Like yeah, where, where where the next movie has like a lot of really shitty frames. This one like they actually did some detail. Here. Yeah, the next movie has like a couple of really good shots, but otherwise looks like shit. Oh yeah. But not bon enough. Merde. Merde. 
Hey, know what this reminds me of? That scene from Return of the Jedi. Not now, Dale. I'm so glad that I was able to find the right soundtrack for this scene. And Piccolo is actually using his stretchy arms. Uh, That's so I sick. About him sometimes too. I wish he used them for mobility. Star Wars, check that out. Lightsaber. Lightsabers don't stick out of people's arms. It's totally making, making the, the same, same sound, though. You can't make that up. You strike me down, and it becomes. And it's good. Um, so the funny thing is, I actually think in that scene, one of the reasons we were inspired by that, not just because they were chasing it, it, it the is forest, actually the lightsaber sound. They do use the same fucking sound. And it was like, okay, uh, there is obviously some inspiration here. And in the next one, they have like the uh, like the Death Star, the second Death Star run is yeah. kind of like a big visual yeah. motif. There's some really big, obvious references to a lot of uh, sci-fi stuff in the movies here. And it's good. You insolent I agree. slug! You may have killed our men, but he won't let you get away with this. You love this oh, line. I do. And who's he? That's he oh. with a capital H, by the way. Fuck! Yeah. Um. Some people don't get that line. Uh. It's actually it's a reference to capital H E is God. Yeah. So, yeah. I I particularly like that line because of its subtlety. So now that I've explained the joke to you, for those of you who didn't get it, now it's funny. So yeah. you can laugh now. Please laugh. Goku, you okay? I've got a fever. Oh no, what should I- And the only prescription is Icarus. What? Dragon meat is yummy, and, and I really want it in my tummy. Also, Dad, Oolong cuddling Dad, with the deer is adorable. So long? Yeah. I lost Icarus halfway here, but I have these sensu beans. Oh, but those, those are, are bland and tasteless! <laughs> You know, in my experience, cooking actually makes them worse. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I love that I that's his takeaway. I for those, and I thought, wow, those must be important. Please tell me they were important. Those were only hope, you bastard! Krillin, no! I love you just hear Krillin getting his shit stomped in the air. I know, right? Why does this voice smell weird? <laughs> Krillin! Don't worry, Dad. Yeah. You I'll take be cooler. Cooler. I'll take care of the small fry. Right. Dad, help! Immediately. I love what? this bit too. <laughs> Whose power level is that? It's going off the scale. But the only one in there was the dying monkey it and the, the pig. pig. Could, Could it be blue? Could, Could it be the legendary, legendary super slime? The hell? <laughs> okay, I love that. So, Just he's I there. I really don't think I appreciate you beating on my friends and family. So wait, which one does this constitute? Friend or family? I'm going to guess friend, considering... Piccolo! You give him here! Oh, I wouldn't go anywhere near him if I were you. He seems to have come down with a terrible case of explosions. Huh? <gasps> Is that contagious? <laughs> Seriously, I don't, don't want to catch that. <laughs> Unfortunately, after I kill Love you, so I'm going to give the whole planet a terrible case of explosions. So basically, I'm going to blow up the planet. Goku, attack mode activate. So it's hard to hear, and I wish I actually tried to balance this out the best that I could, but it it just kind of got lost. At there, he says "putan de merde." Holy fucking shit. Uh, yeah, I think it's, yeah, I think it's holy fucking shit. That's the idea there. Or just holy shit. Yeah, or holy shit. I like how he punches through the rock. Yeah. Is this entire thing has great... Shit brother so easily. Okay. This entire thing has some, like, great set pieces. So, fun thing where he says, little shit brother. That was the first time in the show we actually had the uh, word shit uncensored. Hmm. And the reason that we did that here uh, is that I realized, you know what? In PG-13 films, they don't They don't care about shit. it anymore. They don't care. It's in TV-14 shows now. So we're just not, I'm not going to censor it because honestly, the line sounds better without the censor. I know a lot of people are like, oh, but sometimes it's funnier with the censor. And I'm like, yeah. Sometimes it is, but sometimes it is. And sometimes it just disrupts the flow of a sentence. Yeah, exactly. So this was the, this was the first time... Uh, that you'd hear the uh, word shit uncensored in our content, and it would be, you wouldn't hear it censored again after, so. I, just Anybody it's... out there that keeps a closer eye that can prove him wrong? Prove him wrong. In DBZA, specifically. 
this joke kind of didn't pay off the way I wanted. And that is the history of my family. Wow, I'm... The entire bit being like, they went underwater, and he monologued the entire time. It, mm. like, I don't know, it just didn't sell quite right. Yeah, I, yeah, upon reflection, like, I got it, but it's not sold very yeah. well. Yeah, it, it, I know. It, it didn't translate, like, I don't even know if it was that good on paper, if it was just a, we need to get them to this point, and we don't really have any other spots for him to actually go on about his family. Now, upon reflection, what I probably would have done, I would have held that scene for a while, and I would have had bubbles. Like, the yeah, that, that might have that would have, a bit better. That would have made that scene work. Because you've been like, what the hell is going on? And after they come up, and that's what happened. That would have sold that scene. Ah, I hate when we're watching through these and I'm like, oh, you know what? And now you find it. I know I know. I would have done that better. Sorry about your dad. Oh, don't, don't even get, get me started. started again. Well, I assure you, if I ever have a son, I'll treat him <laughs> Fucking better. Fucking Goku. Really, it's my brother's fault. Pissing and moaning if he didn't own every galaxy. And didn't he just ramble on? Daddy monkey this, daddy monkey that. Oh. By the way, one the one thing that I always really like is having a character do an imitation of another character. My favorite one is when you have somebody who's played both characters using the character in the different voice trying to do an imitation of that other character. It's always so much fun to see how they can stretch it. It's like, oh man, but I do do that voice. Shit. That is just him. That is exactly him. To, to a, a P. P. See though. That's the difference between him and I. He says doing we the like exact same talk. Frieza pose. By the way, it's supposed to be him and me. It shouldn't be him and I. Yeah. I, on the other hand... Here comes the super cooler. This Quads for days. Tonight I dine on monkey soup. I'm curious. Uh, with mask or without mask? Which one do you oh, think Oh, I mean, better? okay, like, with mask, no question. Mm -hmm. But I will defend without mask. I think he still looks cool as fuck. Um, but yeah, like, I wholeheartedly with the mask. The mask completes that form. And the Tonight I Dine on Monkey Soup, obvious Super Shredder reference. Yes, that is a Super, a super Shredder. Super Shredder. Super Shredder. Super That's shredder. a Super Shredder reference uh, to t the second Teenage Mutant Turtles movie. Secrets of the Ooze. Yeah, where he says, Tonight I Dine on Turtle Soup, which... God, the ending to that movie sucks. Go ninja, go ninja, go. Like, that part is fun, but like, he gets taken out by killing himself on accident by crushing a pier. God damn it. That, I like- They, 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 they ran out of ideas, they basically. They did. It, that or time. How do I let people do that? <laughs> Good question, Goku. I do ya. At least we explain it later. It's like, nah, I want a real fight. I'm a plant me a dumbass tree. One of our most quoted lines, again. I, I have a very fond memory of when he was announced in uh, Fighters and they showed that movie. It's like, ah, now I can plant a dumbass tree. Just everywhere in the comments. Oh, this is gonna be great. This is a cool thing. Oh, that looks so painful. God damn. Look at you. Cooler's a beast. Wasted and gasping for air. But you don't get to go yet. When your planet is in ashes, then you have my permission to die. Bane reference. Yeah. Dark Knight Rises Bane specifically, mostly because of the mask and it's a cool line. It is a cool line. Um, some people actually did not know that that was a reference to that movie specifically. Mm -hmm. So some people have seen that line like, this is a cool fucking line. And it's like, yeah, it was a good it line. It was a good line. In we aren't going to take credit for it, but no. it's a good line. Also, like, here's the thing. Um, Guerrero's performance as Cooler is good normally. But there is a certain coolness, like, when I, because I, in this form, I brought the depth down a little bit because I was like, okay, he's transformed, he got bigger. I'm going to just down the pitch a little bit. He sounds really cool here, honestly. I, I do love the way that he sounds. Yeah. Still fucking weird that that's what gets him to go, but... 
So, um, a lot of people don't know the Toriyama joke, and it's kind of a little bit of a deep cut. On, on one hand, it, it, its literal translation works for the bird, because it just means mountain bird. Yeah, Toriyama, or Bird Mountain, or whatever. Um, and uh, also, Bird Studios is the name of the uh, the um, production company that was put behind Dragon and Ball. And obviously, Akira Toriyama is the yeah, author. Yeah. Um, and so yeah, Tori is bird. So we just called him Toriyama, which will then be referenced later with Android 16. So remember this for then. Remember this. Yo, Toriyama. Teach a dinosaur to ride a ball. You Would want you... to explain that now? That's a reference to the lyrics in Chala Hechala. Look them up there. It's such a cool I see. Oh. This must be the power you use to kill my brother. Well, don't think that I'll... Yeah! By the way, real quick. I got heat for this one. Oh. I got heat. So you remember uh, that in these movies, in the original dub, uh, they had a lot of uh, licensed music. Mm -hmm. um, in this scene... Oh my god, I can't actually remember the name of the band that they used. Fuck. But they used new Metal for the, back, for, like, for the backing track. Hmm. And um, a lot of people saw that scene for the first time with that music in the background. And I get it. I get why people would like it. I, I genuinely I do. do. Um, and even when I originally watched it when I was a kid, I didn't hate it. Um, but as an adult, I go back and I watch that scene and I can't help but laugh. I mm -hmm. can't help but laugh. And I even post it online because somebody... Um, uh, there's a company that's like uh, scenes with new metal in it, and they posted that scene. And like everyone who remembers that scene was like, This is so cool. And I'm like, I'm sorry. Like, I don't judge you if you like it. I don't. I seriously don't. I get it. I get why. But when I see it now, I see a company that was like, This scene isn't nearly cool enough. We need to put new metal in the background while he's transforming. Let's make it really uber cool. And it, to me, it just it feels so hokey. Hokey. Yes, thank you. That was the word. And I, I don't know, because it's like this this anime from the late 80s, early 90s isn't nearly edgy and, and, and badass enough. We, so. need, we, need, we need some shredding guitar to go with these muscly, oily men punching each other. Yeah, and a, and, and a song about a man's life falling apart due to drug use and the loss of the people he loves in the background. While the subtext of Cooler's life is... It's it's just really funny to me. So I'll, I'll always remember that during that scene. Look, I, I loved Stupefy and Lord Slug, all right? I, I will defend that all day. I, and that that's totally fine. Like, here's the thing. Versions of it exist with the original score and the English dub now. Mm -hmm. You like So it, there's, it's not like there isn't a version of the dub with the original music. If that were not the case, if, if we what, weren't... What's, what's harder now is actually finding it with that music, like the licensed music. Yeah, actually, because they're, uh, the license expired. expired. Yeah. Um, so th unless you have, like, the... Very old DVDs or the VHSs, which I'm I am very happy by the way that people do. I would be really sad. I would be legitimately sad if people didn't have records of those original versions. Yeah, if, if you couldn't experience History of Trunks with Dream Theater. Oh my God, <laughs> I would be sad about that. Again, I'm that guy. Like I even said this in one of my replies. Like, look, I unironically like. The score, the dub score to History of it's Trunks. It's okay, okay to like cheesy, hokey things. Yes. I mean, like, that's... It, we love Dragon Ball. Yeah. So, for me, it's like... I, it's not that I don't get it. Um, although, oh, man. There's some History of Trunks stuff. There's a rap playing while Go, uh, Gohan is literally crawling, yep. like, with one arm. It's so weird. But, no. I get it. I, it, I, it was that early aughts energy. Yeah. And I just wanted to bring that up here because very recently I made that comment on Twitter. And I got some heat on that. Mm. Not going anywhere for a while? Not really. Got a few more of these to record. <gasps> Grab a Snickers. I'm going low on carbs right now, so I can't. We're both missing some context here. Now, I wonder how well that has aged. Because well, they, they, they change, Snickers changes their tagline every like three or four years. But I do feel like not going anywhere for a while. Have a Snickers was uh, maybe not as big as you're not the same. You're not the uh, you're not yourself and you're hungry. Yeah. That was one of the big ones they also did. Um, but that is ultimately a reference uh, back to uh, I'm gonna break you like a Kit Kat yeah. bar, which I believe. Uh, give me a break, break me off a piece of that Kit Kat bar. It was oh, that's yeah yeah. I still think that's a thing, right? Absolutely. I think that's Kit Kat's only thing. <laughs> My gas pocket! My gas pocket! 
Well, all right, if you insist. I love the hair flowing back there. On a planet, if there is no planet. Now you're just arguing Semitics. By the way, before I throw this, I love thing, this part. did my brother do this? Yeah, but his was smaller. Knew it! Ah. Knew it! <laughs> He's got small ball energy! Small ball energy. See, this is the difference. My brother would have stood around postulating and claiming his victory, like some haughty greenhorn child. I know what it takes to get the job done, which is why father should have... Oh, that's fine. Go ahead, lift it up. I'll just make another one and... I love that his downfall is that the ball was too big. Yep, he could have avoided it otherwise. He's just like his brother. I know there's some kind of futuristic irony to consider here, but I'm far too distracted by the coldness of space! Wait. No, now it's actually getting sort of toasty. Oh shit, now it's really getting toasty! I wonder how many hundreds of millions of miles per hour that beam had to be traveling. I know, right? just like my brother. Calculate it, death battle. <laughs> By the way, I think I actually used the original dub. I, I, it so, sounds like it. Sometimes I don't like using the original dub score, not uh, the original Japanese score in the scenes that were in, in their original because uh, I don't mind using it in some shots, but not for the big climaxes. I like to do something again. I like to change it up. But I think I went over that scene this, this, a dozen times. This feels times. thematically appropriate. Yeah, it, it feels like it's the right choice. I just, I don't know. It just, it, I, every time I watch it, I think to myself, aw oh, man, Scott, you couldn't come up with something else? Because if he's going to whine to our father for control over the I entire system, I think this fits fine. Like like I think this fits good. Brat, yeah, I think it works. he's going to accept the responsibility. If this comes back to bite him, that's his fault. But at least I know I'm still cooler. <laughs> And then the sun was destroyed. <laughs> Which would have wiped out the solar system, but let's not. It would have taken a little bit. Oh, hold on a second. See, Popo had enough time to plug it back in. I do like that very subtle joke. Sun, you grow my food, you kill my enemies. You're totally worth the skin cancer. Goku, you're okay! <sighs> you won! Yep. And we all pitched in. Except Icarus. Who actually Come did here. pitch in? Goku's hungry. Wait, what are you? I want to eat your dragon. Hey! 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 hey. 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 Oh no! Frog legs. I, by the way, I do love, this becomes a trend. Every time we have a credit fake out, I use the original Japanese song. Mm -hmm. I do this in uh, Broly as well. Yeah. <laughs> oh no! I have defeated Monsieur Kula, but now you face the wrath of Solda. Don't even just see you in space hell, cousin Jace. Seriously, give me your dragon. <laughs> I fucking love that. Like you've got nothing to prove. No matter what you might do, there's always someone out there cooler than you. Make me feel tiny if it makes you feel tall. Oh, there's always someone cooler than you. And once again, Icarus has been consumed. Yes. Oh, there's always someone cooler than you. Oh, there's always someone cooler than you. And that's the revenge of Cooler's Revenge? Uh, the Revenge of Cooler. The Revenge of Cooler. Yeah, I, or it might be. I think it's Cooler's Revenge. It might just be Cooler's Revenge. This movie titles are weird. Yeah, honestly, again, I, I don't know why they called it that. I mean, then you have Return of Cooler, which, okay, yeah, it what, is the Return. What, what, what was it called in Japanese? Do you know what it was called in Japanese? It's usually something way more literal. It, um, it's, it's probably something like Sp Frieza Space Emperor Brother versus Son Goku the Super Saiyan. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm going to find that out. But yeah, honestly, this was one of my. It's not one of my favorite movies. I think that we worked on. Do you remember where it landed in our uh, in our movies countdown or twenty five? Oh, I mean, in the original, like in the original movies, it's kind of low if I remember correctly. It's it's like in like it's, I think it's in the middle of the pack. 
Yeah, I mean, it's not, not like, let's be honest, the range of quality in Dragon Ball movies is fairly limited, and then there are a couple of outliers. Oh man, this is so stupid. What is it called? Okay, so I remind you, Toei Animation usually, like, I don't know if this is 100% proven, but it has been highly suggested that to Toei Animation comes up with names. And then makes the movie around and them. And then makes the movie around them. So, uh, there are actually, weirdly enough, two different names for this movie. Okay. There's the Japanese uh, uh, movie name they came up with, and then there's Toei's English name. Okay. So the original Japanese version is uh, Dragon Ball uh, Dragon Ball Z Tobi Kiri no Saikyo Tai Saikyo, which uh, is strongest versus strongest. Yeah, the outstanding strongest versus strongest. That is the name of this movie. What? 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 I mean, yes, I okay. guess it's kind of the strongest versus but, strongest. But, but 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 isn't that every Dragon Ball movie almost? And then the other one they came up with is, and this one's worse. Oh, Dragon Ball Z, the strongest rivals. Ah, yep, he's Cooler he, clearly Cooler a rival. Cooler is obviously his rival. Well, yeah, I, wow, uh, Cooler's Revenge, despite the fact that it is it's a- It's the best title now. It is. So yeah, that's- there, There's something about Strongest versus Strongest that just rings, if only that couldn't be applied to literally every other Dragon Ball movie. I know, right? Uh, it, it actually, the next one actually has a more proper name. I guess we'll go into that one later, but- Yeah, but we'll get to that. Uh, much later. Yeah, much we're later. Go we're gonna jump into season three. Oh my god, I'm so excited! Uh, next time on this thing that we're we doing, doing, I guess not nearly. We fucked it up. Yep. I blame Taka. We should really get him in on me sometime. Mm. <laughs> <laughs>